these places might not always exist. You know, the college I went to was fairly new, it had only been around for about 50 years. Um, didn't have a lot of alumni who had, you know, put them in their trust. There was not a lot of money, mm -hmm. you know, going into the school, no, no endowment. endowment. And it, the same thing feels true for TSA. Mm -hmm. It's new, it's a new school. TSA is still growing. And this is a radical change from what education currently looks like. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ever since it was founded in 1996, like, it's continued to shape kids in a way that I just, it's very different. Every talk, time I talk to my friends who went to public schools or other schools in different regions, they always talk about how TSA talk, like seemed like a utopia. <laughs> you know, the fact that we got to like, just do what we, you know, have such intense relationships with teachers where, you know, we might cry to them mm -hmm. or we might learn something new that we wanted to learn and Someone at TSA found us a mentor, found us someone to teach us mm -hmm. um, about that and gave us the independence. Um, you know, TSA is new, it might not be here forever and that is such a scary thing to think about but I think it's an important wake up call that even if you can only give a dollar, even if you can only give your time, like all of that matters um, because I think keeping these places alive that are so young, still growing, still learning, still developing, is important. Because yeah. if you want TSA, if you want to be able to come back to Sharon Academy, if you want to be able to send your kids here, or your nieces or nephews here, um, you know, I, I have two young nieces, and the thought of them going here and having experiences here, you know, like watching soccer games, or being in the musical, being in the circus, like, all those like fun things that like just don't happen other places, it's just so valuable. Yeah. And like I want to see generations, I want to see TSA still be here in like yeah. 10 years, 20 years, 30 years. And in order to do that, you have to give your time, your energy, your money, you know, in, the, in some cases if you can, um, to help preserve, you know, what is still building and still growing and still becoming something new. If you think about like the exchange of giving money to TSA for having a community that's creating people who are going to do better things in yeah. the world, that's a great investment. Hi, I'm Hattie Byrne and I'm a senior here at the Sharon Academy. I am also the student representative on the board of trustees here. This year we're going to have a fun new thing called Phoenix Fest at the end of the year, which is going to be a replacement for the gala, which normally happens every year. It's going to be different from the gala in that it's going to be outside and is going to be catered to more like everyone in the community than just a certain aspect of the community. There will still be, of course, ways for TSA to fundraise and ways for people to donate to TSA, but there are going to be more games and ways to connect with alumni with current students since everyone in the community is going to be invited. There's going to be wood-fired pizza and drinks and snacks and there's going to be a live local band called the Pillsbury Slow Boys and it's going to be on June 4th from 4 to 8 o'clock. This should be really really fun and I can't wait to see you all there and I'm excited to meet everyone.